The Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square present Music and the Spoken Word. Conducting today's program are Mac Wilberg and Ryan Murphy, with organist Andrew Unsworth, and the spoken word by Lloyd Newell.
Books have been a centerpiece of civilization for centuries, and nowhere is the precious legacy of books more apparent than here in the Long Room at Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland, one of the most impressive libraries in the world. Especially remarkable is this two-story chamber, more than 65 meters long, filled with over 200,000 of Trinity's most ancient books. Among them is the Book of Kells, a revered illustrated manuscript of the four Gospels of the New Testament, created by monks more than 1,200 years ago. This library has been in operation since 1732, almost 300 years. At first, the long room had only one level, but eventually the room was expanded and this dramatic barrel vaulted ceiling was built to make room for the rapidly growing collection. This was necessary because since 1801, the library has had a right to a free copy of every book published in Britain and Ireland. Contemplating Trinity College's amazing library, you can't help but wonder about the place of books in our modern world. Their place in history is undeniable, but with the ease and popularity of internet searches and viral social media videos, is there room or reason for books in our lives? Or are books destined to become artifacts of an earlier day? It's true that watching a short video clip or reading a quick social media post is faster and easier than turning page after page in a book. But there's something irreplaceable in the effort and patience that reading a book demands. Books, whether they be e-books or old-fashioned paper and leather kind, invite you to slow your pace in this hectic world. The time you invest in reading a good book is richly rewarded with a heightened imagination, enhanced empathy, and the thrill of peering into the minds of some of the world's best thinkers. One of these great thinkers was philosopher and poet Henry David Thoreau, who wrote, Books are the treasured wealth of the world and the fit inheritance of generations and nations. Libraries exist because we still believe that this treasure, this inheritance, is worth preserving, not just for its historical value, but also for its current value. Today is a good day to open a book.
This performance continues the 94th year of this historic broadcast. Please join us next time for Music and the Spoken Word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you this day and always. Till we